Namaste guys, in this video we are going to learn how to rig this mechanism in Blender. So let's start. So this is the project file that you will guys get. Okay. So let's see how to approach this. So before I start, let's try to understand what are the parts of level. So this is the part that is going to rotate. So if I press R, Y, notice it is not rotating at the correct place. I want to rotate it about this axis. But it is rotating about the you know other place and I don't want it. So and also this thing is again rotating unwanted place. I want to move it along this place. So how should you approach this problem? So okay. So let's see. So first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to add bone. So where should I add bone? I will add bone exactly at the center of it now in my geometry if i select this notice it automatically select this part as well because they are single part that's a good thing for me because it saves me a lot of time so what i will do i will select this thing inside of it and i will press shift s cursor to be selected okay it's not working select this click on object set origin origin to geometry now you can see origin is it it is exactly in the center of it and it is basically what i want so what i will do i will click on add what i want i want to add armature i can't able to see my armature so i will go to the object properties click on viewport display click on in front and select wire For some reason, I'm not sure to see why. Okay, it goes to the 3D cursor, so my bad. So, what I have to do is select that part. Uh, so, select this, select this part. Shift as uh, cursor to be selected. Notice that cursor is here right now, but our bone is here. So what I can do is I can shift as selection cursor. Now it is there. Now, now what I can do is I want to move it where I want to place it exactly at the center of it here. So how should I do that? It's a question and a challenging thing. So what I can do, I will select this part, click on tab, click on divide icon on my numpad. So make sure that you are in face action mode. By pressing alt shift select this tool and select this face okay now press shift as cross to be selected now it is exactly at the center of it and that is basically what i want select this and select shift as selection cursor okay one more good thing that this is a single part as well so quite beneficial for me so what i will do i will select this part click on tab click on divide icon now i will select these faces by pressing alt shift shift as cursor to be selected uh, maybe i don't do right now uh, first select this one tab press e to extrude it now i will create a bone from here to here a question comes to your mind that why I am doing certain steps. Don't worry about it. I will clear everything uh, later onwards. So first I will do, I will press shift as cursor to be selected. Uh, I will press control 1 for this view. Select the armature. Uh, armature and click on tab to edit mode. Click on add. Click on add a what single bone. Select this, press G to grab it. Now I want this to be exactly here in the center of it. So I will select this. Shift as cursor to be selected. My face was you know selected earlier, so it automatically pick it up. So I will exit edit uh, edit mode. Select this armature. Select this shift as section cursor. One. Now I will press E to extrude it. 
select this shift as cursor to be selected select this shift as selection cursor now let's try to understand why i do certain steps for example why i created bone like this why not from here to here so i have to look what is my 360 degree part So this part basically rotates 360 degree and we I don't know whether you have watched my previous lectures or not. So there is something called 4 bar mechanism. Without that you can't make uh, any more, most of the 2D mechanisms. Okay. So this is nothing just a 2D mechanism right now but we are using 3D. So basically to make it work I need one part that is fully rotating and one part that is oscillating. So this thing basically rotate 360 degree okay so this is something called uh, we call uh, crank and this part is oscillating so this is something called rocker in mechanical engineering so okay now why i make this bone forward another question so i want to use something called inverse kinematics suppose i don't make this bone and i will try to use inverse kinematics so this thing will attach to here why so this thing is called head you notice this small triangle so wherever the small triangle is it is called head and this is called tail so a tail will always always attach to a head it will never attach to a tail so tail never attached to a tail tail always attached to the head okay so that is the reason i have to make forward one more so that this tail will attach to the head of it or you know top of it so first plus a and you know align correctly so click on armatures bone roll calculate uh, global z axis now looks much better so if i go to the pause mode select this thing and by pressing shift select this thing now press ctrl shift c click on inverse kinematics so if i select this r notice it is working and this is basically what i want now click on edit uncheck the lock object modes select this part by pressing shift select this bone press ctrl p bone select this by pressing ctrl shift by pressing simple shift press ctrl p bone similarly select this thing by pressing shift press ctrl p bone now let's see it is working or not so if I select this, press R, yep, it's working. Uh, some notice uh, issue you notice that these parts are not moving. So we will do something called parenting. Let's hide the armature for a bit. Like this, like this. By pressing shift, select this part at the end, control P, object. Similarly, like this, like this, by pressing. Object. Now let's see our armature. Let's try one more time. See if it is working or not. Pause mode. Yes, I'm in pause mode like this. R. Yep, it's working right now. It is working correctly. Yep. No issues here. Okay, what about the this one? So here we will use something called smartness. Uh, first, let's select like this part as G X. So how can I you know do oscillating uh, something here as well? So for to do that, what I can do is uh, GX. Now we have a working of this. Now what I can do is uh, I will select this thing by pressing shift select this one. Press Control P object. So if I try to rotate it, yep, it's rotating. Uh, what I also can do is uh, select this uh, select this one 
for particular reasons and go to the constraints copy location what i want to copy select this thing i want to copy its uh, z location only so and parent all these things to so this one press control p object so if i try to rotate this thing notice it is working but not the way i want so select this click on invert so if i press r so it is working or something so select uh, select this part g z click on offset g z and move it upward so if i select this press r it is working now to animate it what i can do is select this and now what i can do for display click on axis so that we can see the axis so i want to rotate on x axis okay so what i can do i don't know what to do so this is axis is zero basically okay it's so something that you keep in mind so if i try to go to the object properties and try to rotate i am rotating the whole armature not this particular bone and i am only interested to rotate this particular bone so where i need to go is i need to go to the bone properties if it is not visible make sure that you are in pose mode and go here select x y z ruler now if i try to rotate x notice it is working okay that's great thing zero let's make it keyframe and let's make go to 120 let's enter the value of minus 360 degree and let's keyframe it select this press t linear 120 play now it's working uh, i think it's a little bit issue but yeah you guys can try on and make it try to fix let's size the armature let's you know fix it let's fix it i don't want that you guys say that i made a half half as tutorial i don't want that kind of things. if i click on play I have a better idea what I can do is select this one and tab as you can see these two faces are selected already so that's within shift as first two selected I have a better way to you know resolve issues so click on here add add a simple empty now select this empty select this part press control P object select this thing uh, if you remember correctly that I use a constraint so uh, I will use my empty here right now let's control control 1 gz gx let's see if it's working or not so if I click on play I think I can check the Like this thing plus G Z. If I click on play, G. Now it's much better. And let's delete these parts that you know are showing here let's delete so in that way you can make your oil rig mechanism yeah so i hope you guys learned something from this video if you have any kind of doubts and queries feel free to ask
and thanks for watching and have a great day namaste